Now, joining us for just a few minutes, a quick update by phone, live from the scene of where testimony is being given today in Maryland, is Liz Reitzig. She is, of course, one of the key leaders on the issue of raw milk freedom. She was part of the Raw Milk Freedom Riders and has been engaged in a lot of activism on the side of uh, food freedom and, and milk choice freedom in America. I can't even believe we, we have to have this conversation, but uh, raw milk is continues to be illegal in most states. So Liz is joining us today. She's about to give testimony. Liz, welcome to the Alex Jones Show. Hi, Mike. Thanks so much for having me on. It's great to be here. Oh, well, thanks for joining us, and thanks for keeping me posted and in the loop on all of this. You're about to give testimony. I've got a copy of it in my hands, but give us the breakdown of what's going on there and what are you going to say? Well, basically, cow shares, which is a, a valid way for people to uh, obtain raw milk, have been criminalized in Maryland for the past seven or eight years. And there is a bill in the legislature this session that would repeal that and reinstate cow shares in Maryland. And this is such a great option for people like me who live in the suburbs. I can't get my own cow, but I could get a cow and board it at a friend's farm and then get the milk from that animal. So this, if this bill goes through, this is a great way to revitalize the Maryland rural economies and get raw milk back to Maryland consumers from Maryland farmers. Well, that's, that's very important, Liz, but I got to ask you, how could Maryland have even outlawed cow, cow shares in the first place? Doesn't every human being have the right to engage in a contract? You can own a share of a condo. You can own a share of a company that's called buying stock. How could they have criminalized owning a share of a cow? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, well, what they did is the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, they changed the definition of sale of raw milk. So currently, before that, sales of raw milk were illegal, and they just altered the definition to include cow share arrangements or any animal, dairy animal share arrangements to make that illegal as well. They just changed the definition of sale to include those. Wow. And so, of course, a lot of the farmers who would do cow shares are also, um, they also have larger dairies that, that sell to co-ops and whatnot. So the threat of being shut down and just being destitute financially keeps them from actually engaging in the contractual arrangements known as cow shares. So does... I assume there's a lot of support for the repeal of that, um, you know, very bad, uh, ill-conceived law. Uh, I know you're testifying, but tell us uh, about the nature of the support today. Are there lots of people there to testify with you, or what's going on? Well, there are a tremendous number of people in support, but unfortunately, we are getting hit with our only snowstorm of the entire season today. So a lot of people who are planning to be here in person are snowed in, and they're submitting their written testimony to the committee. So oh, they will wow. still be heard, and it's officially in the record. They just won't be here in person. Well, how appropriate, since the entire criminalization of raw milk is such a snow job to begin with. I guess right. <laughs> nature is uh, unfortunately interfering with your your ability to repeal that. Uh, what, when, when is a, an, a decision expected based on all of this testimony? Well, the, the hearing is today, and then usually the committee votes like anywhere from three days to a couple of weeks after the hearing. Uh -huh. And then if it gets if it gets referred out of committee positively, like if enough members vote yes in favor of it, then it will go to the whole House here in Maryland. And then if it gets voted favorably out of the House, it will cross over to the Senate and go through the same process there. So it's still got several steps that it needs to go through in order for this to become decriminalized. Wow, we are so the, to see this happen, and if not, we're just hoping to see a lot of awareness built around the issue and for more people to look at the issue and start engaging directly with their local farmers. So there are a lot of opportunities for the dairy industry to still uh, intervene and, and make sure that this doesn't get repealed. Right, and they will be here today testifying in opposition, as well as the health department. So the, the, the dairy industry, just to be clear, I mean, I don't know what the case is there locally, but in other states, I've seen the dairy industry be very, very aggressive at trying to monopolize the market of milk by, you know, criminalizing raw milk, fresh milk, and making sure that everybody has to buy their pasteurized, homogenized, factory-produced product. Is that, how bad is that situation in Maryland? Oh, it's awful in Maryland. In the past about 20 years, we've lost over 500 dairies. We're down to only 496 right now, which is, it, it's dismal. And the prediction from the, the dairy industry itself is that we're going to continue to lose dairy farms, and they're gonna, the ones that are going to survive are going to continue to be subsidized by federal tax dollars. And their continued recommendation is 
to keep banning raw milk. So here, here we have the solution to the dairy failure problem, and they're saying, no, 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 don't do it. It's, it's, it's reminiscent of, like, you know, propping up a horse and buggy industry after the car comes on the market. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Did you mention earlier that the, the name of the department there is called the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene? Is that correct? That's correct. That's the name of our health department here in Mental Maryland. Hygiene. What? That's right. Is that yeah. like th cleaning your mind of any aberrant thoughts? What 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 is mental hygiene? Well, uh, I've heard it. Uh, translated as brain washing. <laughs> well, that's exactly what it is. Wow, the Department of Mental Hygiene. That that should be in the novel 1984. I mean, we yeah. should retroactively <laughs> put that in, in the novel. The Department of Mental Hygiene cleansing you of all dirty thoughts, such as individual ideas or, or fresh milk from a farm. Oh, my God, that, what a terrible thing. So Right, and just one of the most important things to take away from this and that what I'm going to be asking the committee members to take away from this is that currently peaceful individuals are being criminalized for normal, natural, peaceful human behavior, whether it's transporting raw milk across state lines or the farmers who want to offer cow shares. This is criminal activity, but it's a very peaceful activity. And so I'm going to be asking them to look at it in that context and to stop criminalizing our peaceful lives. Well, and can you remind them that it's legal in Cuba to do this. It's it's legal to sell fresh milk in communist China, in North Korea. You know, I mean, come on. America, land of the free, you can't buy and sell fresh milk from a farm and that our country was was raised on raw milk. I mean, come on. That's right. I mean, it's completely backwards right now. It really is. Well, apparently, Liz, you have not had enough mental hygiene. So <laughs> You need some more mental hygiene therapies. Um, give us your website uh, so that people can, you know, stay tuned in to, to your blogs and everything. Well, it's a, I'm, I'm working with the Farm Food Freedom Coalition currently, so it's farmfoodfreedom.org. But we don't have updates on the specific legislation on that site. But if you go to realmilk.com, they have a section about what's going on in each state, and I'm pretty sure they'll be covering it as well. All right, realmilk.com. It's also a great way for anybody out there who wants to connect to their local milk sources or other local food sources. It's a great resource for that, realmilk.com. Well, Liz, you're an amazing activist and a great spokesperson. Thank you for joining us today, and thank you for your testimony in Maryland. Keep us posted on the outcome, okay? Well, thank you so much, Mike. All Have right. a great day. You too. Thank you, Liz. Well, there goes uh, Liz Reitzig farmfoodfreedom.org. Wow. I mean, isn't that amazing? An amazing commentary on the state of America today where we can't even buy and sell raw milk without being raided at gunpoint and going to prison and being considered a felon. I mean, it's unbelievable. I, I just, I, I can't believe that I have to sit here and talk about that. Of all the things that we should be talking about, I, you know, I'd love to be talking about food self-reliance, how, how to grow your own food supply. I'd love to be talking about, you know, consciousness and the nature of reality. But we got to talk about the criminalization of raw milk. It drives me nuts. One of the best ways to promote the Liberty message is not only by listening to Alex's show, but also by wearing shirts that promote the message. And as you can see right here on InfoWarsShop.com, we have this shirt right here. It says Tyrant, and it also has a message in the back. It says, come and take it. Here's another great t-shirt. Come and take it. We obviously know that the Second Amendment is under attack, and this is a great, subtle way to let the public know how you feel. We also have some great lady shirts. You could see them right now. This one says Infowars.com. There's a lot of female fans of the show. And we also have a female shirt that promotes the Second Amendment. Contrary to what some people might think, there are many females that love themselves some guns. And this is another great shirt that you can get. It's a camouflage shirt with Infowars.com written across. And now you have a choice. Do you want to end the TSA? or end the Fed. We also have this great army style t-shirt and this shirt as well as many others are available at InfoWarsStore.com. And last but not least, may the truth be with you. Obviously a reference to the Star Wars film. All these shirts are available at InfoWarsStore.com.